What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Rayquaza, Shen Pao, and Gallade team for ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Rayquaza, this Pokemon is pretty strong, especially paired up with Shen Pao. This is because of Shen Pao's ability towards Ruin and the fact that Rayquaza can have that normal terror type and E speed. This Rayquaza here is also rocking some other cool things, such as Sword Stance. You can set that up, make this thing do crazy damage. It's got Protect, Dragon Descent with a clear amulet as his item, which is probably the best item for any restricted physical attacker. Like I mentioned, we also have Gallade on today's team, and I absolutely love Gallade. It's a Psychic and Fighting type Pokemon with Sharpness as its ability to boost cutting moves. We have Cobra Cloak as item with Trick Room, Wide Guard, Psycho Cut, and Sacred Sword, both getting boosted by our ability. Like I said, I love Glade, cannot wait to use it. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are all meta picks, Clefairy, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Shen Pao. Like I said, we have Shen Pao to pair up with Rayquaza and Glade to do some big time damage. Incineroar gonna be there to do Incineroar things. Rillaboom there to do Rillaboom things. Like I don't really need to explain Rillaboom or Incineroar anymore. And then Clefairy's there for nice little support. Friend Guard, Evo Light, Protect, Follow Me, Moonblast, Helping Hand. I actually like Clefairy, great support Pokemon. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Gallade and Rayquaza squad. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against Indeedee and Shadow Rider Kalox. Now this combo here, always scary. It is always scary. They're also rocking out with My Shao for Wide Guard. They got Wimscott, they got Frigoraph to stop first turn priority, and then last but not least, they are rocking out with Torkoal. So they can pop Trick Room. They can go speedy kind of side of things. How do we want to play this one and how do we want to get after it? Um, I do like Terrain Control with Rillaboom. I do like Incineroar here as well. Um, I feel like we have to bring in Rayquaza and I either want Shen Pao or Gallade and I'm kind of leaning towards Shen Pao, obviously. But who should I lead here? I think Rillaboom is going to be a great lead and I could just lead it with Shen Pao, which honestly wouldn't be bad for us. It wouldn't be bad for us. I like having Rillaboom here, again, just to change up terrain if we need it. And last but not least, Rayquaza is just going to be an absolute beast because that's our restricted Pokemon. I feel like if you're not bringing it in your restricted Pokemon, you're already at a disadvantage. So, in my opinion, 99% of the time, you should always bring in your restricted Pokemon. So, let's see who they end up leading here. They got a wide guard user. I mean, we don't have any double hitting moves. I don't even think we have one double hitting move on our team. So, I don't have to worry about wide guard. Um... Rigoraph, they're probably going to bring. That's a scary little Pokemon, especially with all the first turn priority you have. E Speed, Sucker Punch. We just don't feel like dealing with that. And Fake Out. And Fake Out. They might just swap into for Rigoraph turn one if it's not on the field already. So we'll see who they want to lead. And it is going to be My Shout and Shadow Rider Calyrex. So we can just fake out the My Shout, but My Shout can actually outspeed us. Um, hmm. I might just Terrastalize. You could swap into like Indeed here. That could be a play here as well. I'm not even gonna fake out. I'm gonna be honest here. I'm not even gonna fake out. There's no point in faking out. I mean, you're in a focus. The other one's Ghost type. Um, like I said, you can swap. You can swap. I should have the Ghost Terror on you, which I do, which is great. Um, I think we just double down in this slot. You might go into like Indeed or something. I'm going to Terrastalize and just send an Icicle Crash this way. I know that you potentially have, like, Astral Barrage. Like, you obviously have Astral Barrage. But we have the Focus Ash, and I don't mind using it now. So, I'm getting right after it. We'll see a Terra type pop out from them. It's probably going to be a Fairy Terra on Calyrex. It's true. No, it's going to be Ghost, which is totally fine. Because, again, I am Focus Ash. And I feel like you have to be faking out my, my Shen Pao here. I feel like you have to be faking out my Shen Pao. And if you are, that could be pretty big for us because I know both my Pokemon can soak an Ash Barrage. And we could just get rid of this, uh, this Calyrex. Unless I miss an Icicle Crash. I don't want to put it into existence, but I might have already put it into existence. Let's see. Ash Barrage going to fly. Obviously, you're out speeding. He's not going for... You might just be attacking my Incineroar. You're not going for Fake Out. You are not going for Fake Out. And that's really what I was hoping you would do here. Would be go for fake out. So you might just dump on my Incineroar, which could be a little bit of a problem. Iso Crash is landing, which is gorgeous. It's doing great damage. And he is dropping a close combat, which really sucks. So he takes me out there. No big deal. I mean, your defense is in the dumpsters now. And I was really hoping you went for fake out. Surprised. I'm surprised you didn't go for fake out. But I mean, I could just go into Robum here. Robum can do some big time damage, especially next to this, uh, 
this what's it called this calyrex and the real question is does my shell swap out i feel like it has to right i feel like it has to so you know what i'm just gonna go for Woodhammer here just to kill you and i'm just gonna protect there's no way my shot stays on the field. There's just no way. You have to go into either Indeedy or uh or Frigger after. You have to. You have to. It's an absolute must. It's a must. Because you reset your my shell, all that good stuff. Yep, there it is. You kind of go in from there. Let's see you guys. Is it Indeedy? Is it Indeedy? It's gonna be Frigger after. That's fine. That is fine, because we're just protecting you. I doubt they have Indeedy, which is good news for us. And Astro Brush is going to fly, which Roll Boom should soak up. I mean, this thing's not boosted or anything. I mean, it's Terra boosted, but mm, that's actually scary. That's actually scary. You should still soak it, Roll Boom. He does. Beautiful. So I'm going to die out to recoil damage. No big deal. I do pick up the KO one to you. So now I have Shen Pao and Rayquaza next to each other for our final grouping of Pokemon. Um, obviously, they can just go into uh, back into my shell, which isn't a bad play. But I don't know if they're going to pop Trick Room or not. That's my real problem here. I don't think they're going to pop Trick Room. I mean, we just have to get rid of Free Graph. That's our, that's our main enemy right here. That's our main enemy. Do you go back into my shell? No, you go into Indeedee. I'm pretty sure this is just like a straight up attacking Indeedee. Because it's male Indeedee. So I'm kind of scared that this thing's just going to drop like expanding forces. Um, from here, we could double down into Indeedee. We could actually double down into Frigraph just to get first turn priority. That's not bad either. But I mean, Dragon Ascent's going to make us really be hurt in here. Who do I go for? I think I could just go after Indeedee. I think I just go straight after Indeedee. He's helping hand boosting. He's helping hand boosting this Indeedee. Hopefully, we can both outspeed and just KO this thing. No, you are fast. You are super fast. You gotta be Choice Scarf. You have got to be Choice Scarf. I was really hoping we just outspeed this thing, but you have got to be Choice Scarf outspeed my Shen Pao like that. And even my Rayquaza. Rayquaza is a pretty fast Pokemon. But how much damage Dragon Ascent doing? It's KO. And we get a crit. I mean, it was probably KO in next to uh, what's called anyway. It was probably KO in next to uh, Next to Shen Pao regardless, so the crit don't matter. But yeah, that Choice Scarf on that Indeedee might have just saved them the game there. Might have just saved them the game, because my shot's going to come out here. Probably Focus Ash, which really sucks. Um, I mean, I'm going to stick this and try to win this game. But I'm going to go for Dragon Ascent into my shot. He's going to be able to fake me out. I probably should just protect it. Actually, you can't fake out. We have Psychic Terrain up, which is gorgeous. And he's going to drop a close combat and outspeed us regardless. So their team is just flying in speed. They are just cooking. GG to our opponent. We start things off 0-1. Moving on to match number two, and I found out our problem in match number one. We didn't have Gallade. We have to bring in Gallade here. We're going up against Shadow Rider, Calyrex. They also rocking out with King Gambit, Pelipper, who's pretty solid in Regulation G. Then they got Ndidi, Rillaboom, and last but not least, Urshifu. Okay, I do like Gallade here due to wide guard purposes. Definitely going to help us out up against Shadow Rider, Calyrex. But who should I lead here? Um, I kind of want Rillaboom here because terrain control could be massive. Um... They do have King Gambit. They might end up leading King Gambit, which could be a little bit scary. Uh, Shen Pao could be good just to, like, Sacred Sword that. Same thing with Gallade. Hmm. The only way I've stopped first on priority would be going into Ndidi. So, I think going into these two, Rillaboom and Gallade is going to be really nice for us. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get after it this way. Little bit of Gallade action in match number two. And like I said, we need a Gallade. Gallade can come in clutch, especially with Wide Guards, all that good stuff. So, I like it. Especially up against this squad. When you see Indeedee, it kind of uh, makes you think that this uh, this Calyrex is rocking expanding force as well. So, double hitting moves. Wide Guard's going to help us out. But let's see. What you got here? It's going to be Calyrex and it's going to be Indeedee. So, from here, I can just hard swap and take terrain if I want to. And then I could just sucker punch this uh, Calyrex. That's an option. That's definitely an option for me. And I really like that option. And I think I am going to do that. You could go for follow me. Oh, yeah, you could go for follow me, which we don't like. Um, do I just Icicle Crash at this point? I could just Icicle Crash. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I definitely want to swap my terrain. I definitely want to take this terrain. So I'm going to go into Robum here with the AV, the Assault Vest, and 
Oh man, as much as I want to just rip into this uh, Sucker Punch, I think Ice Sword Crash can be your play. We're going to send it over to Caldark Slot. That's the play. I really want to drop a Sucker Punch in this thing. You could be helping handing. We probably should have dropped a Sucker Punch, but I just think we have to play it safe or follow me. So out comes our lovely little grassy train. Set it up. And please show me it's a follow me. Make sure I'm right. Actually, I don't even want to be a follow me because I'd rather attack Calyrex. We're just going to see a Terra out of Calyrex. So maybe he thinks that we were Sucker Punching. Are you going into Fairy or are you going straight Ghost? What's your play here? Going Fairy. So he wants to dodge Sucker Punches. So this might be a helping hand play. We're going for Icicle Crash regardless. Need some nice damage. And I'm hoping next to Shen Pao, it is helping hand play. But I'm hoping next to Shen Pao, Grassy Guy can just KO. Do some nice damage here. Terra Blast actually in the fly here. Going in Shen Pao? No, you're going into my Roll Boom slot. Well, which was Rayquaza, so that makes sense. And I survived. Thank you, Assault Best. I still Crash now able to fly. Bop, 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 bop. Big time damage. And he's going to get back some HP. So from here, I can fake out. And honestly, just faking out the Calyrex is in our best interest. Do I double down into it, though? I could just go for a grass god. I could make life easy here. I think we have to use our fake out turn here. I'm gonna fake out you. Drop an ice of crash at the same time. I'm gonna double down to Calyrex. Doubling right down to Calyrex. You go for follow me, you go for follow me. End up withdrawing Calyrex. That's fine. So this Pokemon's going to take a mean ice of crash. And he going into. Don't mind. Don't mind. Do not mind that. Why would I mind that? Why would I mind that? See you later, Rillaboom. Get it on out of here. So we get rid of Rillaboom. Um, I kind of might want to save my Rillaboom. Unless you KO my Rillaboom here. You are going to KO my Rillaboom here. I was going to say, we kind of need some terrain control. Just for first turn priority moves. Because I am not a fan of this. Uh, I am not a fan of this next turn. Um... I think I went into Rayquaza, pairing it up to next to Shen Pao right now. It's definitely in her best interest. Let's see who they go into. <clears throat> I wonder if they go back into Calyrex or not. I do still have Guard with my Glade, which is good. Uh, they're gonna, they are going to go back into Calyrex, but they don't have Terrain, which is great news. I mean, I can E-speed that all day. Which I am going to do. And then we're just going to get after it. So actually, I'm just going to go into the normal Terra type, just to boost damage and get rid of our Fairy Weakness. And on top of that, I'm kind of scared to drop a Sacred Sword or uh, Ice of Crash. I feel like we're going to miss, but we've been good on the, well, the accuracy. We've been really good. We've been really good. I'm going to throw us into Indeedy slot. So we'll finally Tarash Slides. They got Calyrex on the field. We still have Gallade in the back end. We still have Gallade in the back end, which could definitely come in clutch. Just having that extra Pokemon, especially it being Gallade. Nice little Psychic type and Fighting. So, I mean, it's going to be neutral. It's so Psychic moves. But from here, we're going extreme speed. We're just going to get rid of this Calyrex. Bye-bye, Calyrex. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Get it on out my face. All right, so Calyrex gone. Rillaboom gone. That was a terrible swap by them to swap in the Rillaboom. And Follow Me comes out here after the fact, which is great. <laughs> I love it. I love it, which is after the fact. I still crash going to fly. Do some nice damage. Almost half. Can E speak KO? I mean, the best part about this is they cannot change terrain anymore. So East Speeds can just fly for me. You can just let them fly. Let them fly, baby. We're looking pretty good. Not pretty good, really good. But I don't know who their final Pokemon is. It's gonna be Urshfu. All right, this is this is a bit scarier. This is a bit scarier, but East Speed can still chunk up some massive amount of damage, and we can double down with Secret Sword, which is exactly what we're gonna do. They could cancel. They might not. Stream Speed might just KO. It just does so much damage next to Shen Pao. Brings it down to yellow. Follow me is going to come out here. So Sacred Sword is going to launch into that slot. And he's probably just going to close combat and pick up KO onto me. If I had to guess, right? If I had to guess, yep. Close combat is going to pick up the KO. See you later, Rayquaza. And defense is going to drop for him. So now we're sitting here, Gallade and Shen Pao. I have Focus Sash still on Shen Pao, which is wonderful. We love it. Now I get to bring out my Gallade. I mean, Surgeon Strikes might KO my Gallade. I'm not going to sit here and lie. 
But I think my Shen Pao with uh with this focus ash can definitely help us out tremendously. Alright, cool. So I don't want to double down into a Pokemon right now. I think we're just gonna send a Sacred Sword from Gallade. Actually a Psycho Cut from Gallade into you. Which has better accuracy. They're both the same, but Psycho Cut was will KO you. You know, use your Terra, and then we can just launch a Secret Sword from Shen Pao into Indeed here, which I like. The follow me comes out here. Sacred Sword is going to fly from my uh, Shen Pao. It's going to take out the Indeedy all day. And this pretty much just wraps up the match, right? If you KO my Glade here, then my Shen Pao still has Focus Sash. We're going to guarantee ourselves getting off a hit. If you attack my Shen Pao, we're still fine. Yeah, we Focus Sash up. Beautiful. So Glade getting into action in match number two. Like I said, I said the reason we lost in match number one was because we didn't bring Glade. Now that we bring Glade, it's kicking. It's kicking. We're going to pick up a nice little win here with Psycho Cut. GG to our opponent. How many Shadow Rider Calyrex are we going to verse today? Match number three, another Shadow Rider Calyrex and Heatran. Heatran's a nice little Pokemon that I haven't seen in a good bit and I actually really like it. They also have Indeedee and then they're rocking out with Ogre Pond, Pachirisu and last but not least Urshifu. So more of Indeedee Calyrex combos. Why am I playing the same team every, every time today? It's getting out of hand. It's definitely getting out of hand, but how should we play this one? Again, Terrain Control, gonna be our friend with Robin. We definitely want that. I definitely want Gallade here again. I like Gallade. Um, they could bring Pachirisu, but I don't think they do that. I mean, Glade could be a solid lead, especially for wide guard purposes. And I might just end up leading the lead. Do I want to do that? Go Glade and Cinnawar. That's not bad. You know what? Let's do that. Glade and Cinnawar here with Rayquaza and Shen Pao in the back end. Or do I have to bring them? I was saying I kind of have to. And you know what? I am going to do that without Shen Pao. I'm going to go Rayquaza without Shen Pao. I think that works fine, because Rayquaza can still do big time damage with Dragon Ascent and E Speed, but just not as much, right? I still like it without Shen Pao, but Shen Pao and Rayquaza, definitely good combo, definitely good combo, but I'd rather have that terrain control rather than Shen Pao, so I'm doing that. I like Incineroar here, Incineroar is just typing wise, amazing, Intimidate can do wonders, and Gallade with Wide Guard doing big time damage with Sharpness, we like that. We like that. So let's see who they end up setting out. It's going to be these two. I mean, I could just hard swap into terrain, which is most likely what I want to do. Or I could stay on the field in wide guard. I could stay on the field in wide guard, but I really like Incineroar here. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, we like Incineroar here. We don't just like Incineroar. We love Incineroar here. We love Incineroar. So I could sit here and maybe wide guard and get a free turn out here and then change up terrain. Is that something that they don't know yet? Is that we're rocking wide guard? So yeah, I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw a wide guard. And I'm just gonna knock off at the same time. Right into this Calyrex slot. Right into this Calyrex slot, and then next turn we can change up terrain a little bit. So let's see what they want to do here. They're just gonna terrestrialize the Calyrex. Instead of go for follow me, it's just gonna be a helping hand play. Calyrex going fairy style. Normal. Alright, I, I see you. I see you, Calyrex. A little bit of normal action. Helping hand, go ahead. Go for your double hitting move. What you got, expanded force? Is that what you cooking with? Yeah, you ain't ready for this. You weren't ready for this. You were not ready for wide guard. I told you, you weren't ready for wide guard. Get, get on out of here. You're not ready for wide guard. Last thing you're ready for. So if I had to guess it's move set, it's probably expanding force, astral barrage, maybe nasty spot and protect. They might be forced to just hard swap this Pokemon. We just keep going for wide guards. Might as well just attack Indeedee. Go for another wide guard. Exactly in the window. We might just protect Calyrex. We might swap it. That's why I like to see a nice big time wide guard play from us. Definitely solid rather than going into that terrain. But yeah, there's the withdrawal there. We went for wide guard just in case. We have knockoff flying into the Indeedee. Should be able to chunk up some nice damage. And they're going to go into another Pokemon, which is going to be Urshifu. And he just protects indeed. indeed that's pretty, pretty solid protect. Um, I can hard swap into Rillaboom now as well. Could pop Trick Room too. You got a fast team. I could pop Trick Room. Trick Room might be, might be the play. I'm gonna go for Psycho Cut there. Do we think you'll follow me? Maybe, potentially. But oh, we're gonna swap Incineroar. We will save our Incineroar. Incineroar is just such a good Pokemon up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. 
Can't get hit by the uh, the psychic moves. And on top of that, it's resist ghost type moves. It's just such a good Pokemon. But we're going to bring out Robum here. Hopefully, the Surge of Strikes is flying into the slot. Um, we get that terrain control as well, so we can go first and priority with Grassy Glide. And Follow Me is going to fly out here, which is kind of why I want to go for Sacred Sword. But again, if you're going for Surge of Strikes, which I would love, then you're going for close combat, which is actually a smart play. We soak still. And we go from there. Okay. Psycho Cut's gonna fly, it's gonna do about negative six damage, nothing crazy. Um And we could just fake out now. We could just fake out here and go for Psycho Cut in this slot. So I'm gonna Psycho Cut that and I'm just gonna fake out the Ndidi. Cause I don't mind if Rillaboom dies out here if we can KO this Urshifu. Let's be honest here. The fake out into you, you probably KO my Rillaboom here, which is no big deal, and then I KO your your Urshifu. So there's close combat. You could be sashed. You could be Sash, which I wouldn't like at all. But I mean, I could bring out first time priority after this. Get my Ray Ray out here. My Ray Quaza, baby. So out comes Psycho Cut with a sharpness boost. And you're not Sash, so we get rid of you. Awesome, dope. You don't have terrain control, which is wonderful. Now, I wonder if you go back into Calyrex here. I'm really curious to see. I mean, now's the time just to bring out Rayquaza. Now is a beautiful time for us to bring out Rayquaza. We still have Terra, which we might want to send on Rayquaza, giving it the normal Terra boost. Um, but they're going to go into Heatran here. I mean, I got Sacred Sword ready to roll. I got Sacred Sword ready to roll. And I like our typing here, so. I'm going to throw a Sacred Sword. I'm going to save her in Sinnoh for late game. And I mean, we have to start attacking this in DD. Just follow me, it's a little bit of a pain. But Sacred Sword, definitely going to be reply. I'll go for Sacred Sword. Um, do I Sword Stance boost or do I just start attacking? I think we should go normal Terra when we attack this Ndidi. Is that what I want to do? Kind of. Or do I just want to go for Dragon Ascent? I think we just go for Dragon Ascent. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm going to save our Terra. He's going to end up withdrawing Ndidi. So we're going to say bye bye to Calyrex. Get it on out my face. Calyrex gone. Calyrex gone. About to dump on this bad boy. I told you, our problem in match number one was not having Glade. Glade is eating up in today's video in match number two and three. The Dragon Ascent flies. I'm going to say, see you later, Calyrex. And Sacred Sword should do at least half damage to this Heatran, which is awesome. And as long as I just target down this Heatran, we wouldn't see any problem. Because NDD doesn't really pose a threat at all. But they just turn off their console. So Glade making opponents rage quit in match number three. We love it. We go two and one for today's video. Who would have thought Rayquaza and Gallade tearing up the rank regulation G ladder? Not me, but kind of me because I think these Pokemon are amazing and definitely great off meta choices. Rayquaza hits hard with extreme speed and Dragon Ascent, and Gallade just has a great moveset to counter regulation G Pokemon, especially with Wide Guard. You guys seen it in match number three. We Wide Guard the Calyrex. They didn't really know what to do after that, and then from there, we just tore it up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.